afternoon, everybody. Big Mess, Messer Branch Outdoors, back with another fly tying tutorial. And today we're going to be tying a kind of a version of a CDC corn fed caddis. This is here in a size 16. Tie them in 14, 16s, and 18s. As you will find these guys, at least here for us um, in Western North Carolina, work pretty good. This is kind of a dirty yellow color, but a bright yellow in a size 18. Has worked pretty well for me and Braden up uh, in, in the, the National Park. I'm going to be using some uh, some Semperfly thread here today, color to match the body of this particular fly. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you that all of this fly here is going to be tied with thread and, of course, the CDC for the body and the wing and all the pertinence in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take us a CDC feather. We're going to select the feather real simple. We're going to take it in by the tips. We're going to tie it in. I'm going to spin my thread counterclockwise. I'm going to capture with a loose wrap. I'm just going to kind of pull that back, make sure we got a good hold. And this is going to be key here. We got to stop it up in here somewhere because we don't want to crowd the eye of the hook, which is easily done. And all we're going to do here with the CDC feather, you can twist it if you want, just like so. Some of these fibers are going to come through, and that's perfectly fine. Gives it a nice buggy look. And we're just going to build up this body is all we're going to do. And over time, a fish in this particular fly, um, you know, so we're going to lose some of these anyway, and it's perfect. I want to back that off just a little bit. Here on my Norvice, going to rotate it back, bring my Norvice auto bobbing over. We're going to capture it. As I said, this is a size 16. 14, 16s, 18s, various colors. The bright yellow or kind of golden yellow one works really good. Um, I think we did pretty good up in Catalucha Valley with that one. Uh, uh, Braden really liked fishing that one up there. Floated really good. We tinkered with a couple of different things that we did to these guys. Um, and, uh, you know, just, just playing around. So the next thing we're going to take is some couple of CDC feathers. And we want to have the curve going back over the fly this is going to be the wing we have experimented i think we did some with some uh, some elk hair and things of that nature as well they did really good um, kind of working in conjunction with the cdc and the floatability of them was really good we didn't have to keep kind of like treating them and drying them out and then uh, dressing them which is nice it's going to take a couple of these we don't have to go too crazy with it we're just going to use this as i said this is going to be the wing for us there and then the other parts of this that we discard you can keep these here and you can make body dubbing out of them if you would like real easy to do but I'm going to tie this in and then I can adjust accordingly where I need it to lay on the back side here I'm going to bring this in like so just like that just like I said this is a size 16 I'm just trying to get close good right there I'm good with that. Lift up in front, go back, and a stem. Coming into your living room. For all you folks that's been wondering what we've been doing, <clears throat> sorry, we have been exceptionally busy. I think we're going to have to get on a two-week schedule here through the summer months, to be honest with you. Uh, the, the every week thing for us is kind of tough, especially right now. Uh, Braden is doing some shooting competition through the 4-H. Practice uh, some of the evenings. Plus, as you folks know, um, you know, what happens in uh, this time of year. We got a lot of other responsibilities we have to do around the house, such as pressure washing, weed eating, all the good stuff. You got it all, man. So all is good. I'm here. Nothing's happened to us. And kind of see us going on a two-week schedule. There are other folks you can watch on the Norvice team, uh, Hackles and Hurl Fly Fishing, obviously the new YouTube channel for Norvice. Be sure to check those out if you're looking for Norvice-specific content. Um, just wanted to point that out there to you. For you folks who sent some, um, sent some messages, one uh, was talking about they couldn't share their fly photos, uh, certainly on YouTube, certainly understandable. You can email those to me at messerbranchoutdoors at gmail.com, and then I can get those put up here during the edit. Edit, edit. Um, so the next thing we did was I actually took and made a dubbing loop. And with that being said, we're going to take uh, the feathers, and I've got a feather prepper tool over here. I've got two of those. 
And we're going to use that as well as a the Swiss CDC clamp. And we are going to grab these uh, feathers like so. I'm going to come in here and capture. And these pretty much is going to be the legs and the stuff up around the front of the particular um, the fly pattern here. And we're just going to put it in a demo loop and twist it. And if you really get to focus on these, it doesn't take too terribly long to tie these up. If you get your feather prep done, it doesn't take long at all. So I'm going to take this um, dubbing loop twister here. I can't really pronounce the name of this cuss here, but I have a couple of different ones. I'm going to get that in there like so. This one, though, it's once you get the trick of how it works, which some reason I'm having a brain fart right now. There we go. When you squeeze it, it will open up the loop. Schmin, I'm pronouncing that totally incorrectly. So I want to take and I'm squeezing it. I want to bring my barbules up here. I'm going to let go. Then at this point, you twist it like you would any other dubbing loop spinner. And we're going to twist those up, cord them up just like that. Make this nice and buggy. You can put dubbing on there if you want to. I've kind of done that in the past as well. As you can see, I'm using a rotating feature of my Norvice fly tying system there. And like I said, we do not want to crowd the eye of this hook. This is going to be key. You know, less is more in some instances. And right there for me, that's about as far as I want to go. I will tell you, if you're fishing this particular fly, any CDC patterns, you need to be using the, um, the brush on powder for this keep you some kind of uh, way or a little cloth to be able to maybe get some of the moisture out as you are going to catch fish with this particular fly, which is the goal, correct? I use a uh, Norwix cloth. Um, I keep one of those in, in my, uh, my pack. And when I start fishing, I actually have it in my pocket along with the floatant as we are wet wading this time of year. And I can take it and I can squeeze that moisture out and then I can retreat it and go right back to fishing um, and, and it's just like it nothing has happened to it so at this point right here we're going to do a couple of whip finishes on this one two bingo just like that and folks pretty much we are done this was some uh, nano silk that I used right there from Simplify. as you can see it's pretty buggy the cool thing about CDC all you got to do is take and you can break some of those barbules off but we want this guy to be able to float pretty good it is hot here in western north carolina right now we have been really hot about eight to nine degrees above average which means that you need to be fishing where the water is cool maybe a little bit faster water um, there as well and um, hopefully in the next week or so i think we're supposed to cool off just a smidge for sure so if you folks have any questions, feel free to drop, drop them to me in the comments down below. Also, like, subscribe. We appreciate you folks. We thank you folks for watching. Everybody all around the globe, all the cool stuff. We're in the 300s. We need to get up to that 1,000 because it does cost us money to make these here. So if we can get to that point, um, I feel like we can start getting a little bit of income coming in and make these videos happen. So if you want to continue to support us, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Y'all take care. Catch a few fish, and we will see you next time.